Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of this video today, we're doing more of a chit chatty kind of video. We're basically talking about adulting because y'all seem a bit confused. I always get DMs and I always get messages asking me like, how the heck do I do it all? Um, and I am in no way bragging, but I mean, it takes a lot of discipline. Um, and I figured I would share with you how I like keep it all going. Bit of backstory, I work a very hectic job where sometimes it doesn't turn off. I like I bring work home with me sometimes, like I love it though because like I, I can't shut off from it sometimes and then I really do shut off sometimes. Like it really depends. But I have a job that keeps me on my toes, let's just put it that way. So I technically work 40 hours a week, sometimes a little more. I host an international student every semester, which means I am responsible for another human life that lives with me and goes to high school. Everyone just thinks, oh, you just let these kids stay in your place. No, you're, you sign a contract and you, you parent them. You guide them through their semester. You help them if they need help with homework. You provide them with meals. Like, you do all of those things. And I really like it. I mean, I don't have kids and I don't feel the need to want kids, but I really like doing the international student program because I get to learn about other cultures, I get to make new friends, and I don't know, it's, it's really nice and it's super rewarding to know that you help someone go to high school in Canada and like do all those cool things. So I'm really like, I really enjoy it, but it comes with a boat ton of responsibility. I'm responsible for making sure they have lunches for school, they get fed, they like all of that stuff. That all comes down to me. Um, and I don't have any help. I also have Lola, which is a full-time job in and of itself. She is my child. I mean, she needs to go for WALK every other day. Um, she has scheduled meal times. She has her own health stuff. Like, she's a very healthy dog, but she's healthy because I make sure she takes her vitamins and, and like, all of those things. Like, I do all of that for her. And then I also have to take care of me. And on top of that, I have to run a household. And <laughs> I have a vlog channel and a YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, so I basically have a lot of moving parts that I just, I try to maintain all of the time. Um, some of my friends are just starting to move out on their own and they keep asking questions and they keep asking me like, how do I do it? How do I stay on top of things? One question I get a lot of is how do you pay your bills on time? Um, it blows my mind that people don't get how to do that because you have monthly bills like I don't know in my head you just write it in your calendar so you don't forget if like if you're really that forgetful I can't forget that kind of stuff I like if I just glance at a date like today is the 24th of May when I'm filming this and my brain knows that my Newfoundland power bill comes out in two days my Bell Alliance bill comes in and my cell phone bill comes in all within the next three days my brain knows that so like I just can't forget it, you know? Same thing with like car payments and car insurance and when my payday is like, all of that stuff just, it sticks in your brain when you get into a routine. So for me, I just kind of keep track of it all. So my first tip is write things down. And people think I'm crazy, but in my personal planner, I plan out my videos, um, my upload schedule, my payday is in there, when my car payments come out, my car insurance, when all that comes out and when all my other bills come out. Like, it's all written in my planner every month. Um, and then I also have a digital calendar. Now, I don't put, like, insane details on my iCloud calendar, but, like, I put in when I get paid, and I put in when money's coming out. Like, but I don't actually, like, put in totals or anything because, you know, if anything ever gets hacked, that's important private information. So I don't want to, like, get that stolen. But I had these little reminders set up so that in the event that I do forget, my phone will give a notification when there's something in my iCalendar, which I can access through iCloud on my iMac, on my iPad. Um, I can access it from anywhere with just my Apple ID. So if I don't have my planner on me, I still technically have everything I need to know in iCloud. And then in my within my iCloud, I have multiple calendars. Like, everything's color-coded, so anything that's in purple is like personal stuff, whether it's doctor's appointments, family dinner, etc. Then I have like my pink stuff which is all YouTube and blog related. Then I have yellow which is this household and how I manage it like 
if my student has activities, it all goes in my calendar as yellow, and then I can send invites to my student who can then accept them if I'm not with her. So like if Mariana and I want to go to a hockey game next week, I will put that in my calendar and I will share the event with her. So then she can just accept it. I pick up the hockey tickets and we don't actually have to talk about it. Like it's not a big deal. And, um, and it works really well. Um, I'm just texting William because we're going to see a movie tonight. But um, <clears throat> yeah, so yellow is for like my international student schedule. Um, green is for work. So if we have like a professional development day, if we have a conference, if we have meetings or anything that involves me not going physically to the office, but it's stuff I have to do outside of the office goes in there. Like for example, I took this Friday off. That's green in my calendar. Orange is everything relevant to Lola's life. So if she has a groomer's appointment, like that kind of thing. So I really like, I color code. I took the time to create a legend, color coded everything, so I can't forget. There's zero excuses for me not remembering to do something, essentially, unless something has to go like terribly wrong. I don't miss anything because it's in a calendar, on the cloud, in my planner, and I get notifications on my devices. So I have no excuse to miss anything. That's like my first tip. And it drives me crazy when people tell me, Oh, I forgot, or I didn't know what day it was, and I'm like, well, you don't have a reason not to, because if you look at a smartphone, the date is written on the screen, so there's no real reason for you not to know what's going on in the world. Um, so I like totally recommend people using a planner and a digital calendar, because it just keeps life in sync, and I mean, I stray from my plans all the time, but the real important stuff is written down and it doesn't get forgotten so there's no excuses. Another thing I really like to focus on is maximizing my downtime during the week. So I know Monday through Thursday nights I don't personally book in anything big. I don't like to go out on work nights because I like to get up super early and go to the gym and maximize my day. So I like to stay home in the evening time. Some nights I just stay home and Netflix with Mariana and we eat dinner and we watch Full House or Friends and we just catch up and like check in with each other. And then other nights, like Wednesday nights for example, well, let's start with Tuesdays. Tuesday night is I know garbage day is Wednesday. So I like get all the garbage ready, I get the recycling sort, I do all of that Tuesday night. Um, Wednesday night is like dusting and vacuuming night. Thursday night we pick up groceries and we come home and we do meal prep and do everything we need to do. So that frees up our weekend to keep everything fun. And I don't think people realize that if you like time manage, you can maximize the amount of hours in a day and you can have fun and like just be more spontaneous. Like tonight for example, um, today Aladdin came out and I really wanted to see it but I know that we're going to a hockey game Saturday and Sunday night so going to see it on the weekend is pretty much impossible. Plus, the Avalon Mall has a rat problem and I really don't want to sit in that movie theater. So I just looked up the Mount Pro movie theater and they are showing it tonight at 9.45 p.m. And I literally, like, because I have all my housework done, all my laundry is done, everything has been designated to a weeknight when I'm home, I can literally, on a whim, like I did an hour ago, text William and be like, yo, I really want to see Aladdin at 9.45. Can we go? Meet me there. To which he said, you got it. And that's it. We're going. No questions asked. And I can do things like that on a whim, which is nice because I don't have my weekends packed with like cleaning and laundry and crap like that. I don't understand people who let that kind of stuff pile up because it really takes away from your fun time. If you have to like take a whole day to do six loads of laundry and get caught up, that's really sad. Or like today, I, since I took the day off work, I knew I was having a filming day, but I just texted my grandmother on a whim and we met up for a quick coffee while I was at an event this morning. I went to a, the Lush Grand Opening with Shauna and we kind of turned into a morning thing and it was totally fun. Um, so it really is about time management and just staying focused and making a plan. Another way to keep yourself focused as well is buy like a fridge calendar. I have a magnetic calendar on my fridge and it's just a week calendar. And every Sunday I sit down and I fill it out for the week and I fill in any important things that could be happening, um, any things I need to get done. And I actually write in when we're going grocery shopping. I write in when I'm doing dusting and vacuuming and things. So I actually hold myself accountable for it. And it works like a charm, you guys. Like I just come home and I do it right away. Like while supper is cooking, I am doing that. 
Another thing I do with that fridge calendar is I don't eat out very often because we meal prep. I plan my meals like a week in advance. Like I don't set a designated day. Like I don't pick one night for tacos, one night for spaghetti, one night for, I don't know, chicken and wraps, one night for breakfast. I just plan out like five meals for every night of the week. Whatever I can prep in advance I do and then I just like have it done. So like if we're having tacos on a Wednesday night, Sunday night I'll probably cook up the taco meat and just have it there so we just have to heat it up and make our tacos. Um, and I plan it out and I write it in on the calendar so we know what we're having for supper. The food is there. We don't have to get takeout. Everything is easy, everything is quick, and everything's done before 7 p.m. And then usually I have all the chores, whatever I want to get done, done by 7, to which then we Netflix and chill. So it's all about being disciplined and staying on top of things. Another thing that I, I really wish people did more often is budget. So budgeting for me, I mean, I don't go out for a coffee unless there's a gift card loaded on my app. So I don't like, I don't set crazy budgets, but I have my plate money. I know how much is there and I'm very much aware of what goes in and out of my bank account. Um, so you need to be aware. Don't be afraid of looking at your banking because people, I think people get scared and they just rack up credit. Um, so for me, if I'm going out for a coffee, I, I mean, the most I put on my Starbucks card at all times is a $25 gift card. And if I don't have the money there on that gift card for that pay cycle, I will not go to Starbucks. Like every payday, I'll put a $25 gift card in the app and that's it. If I exceed it, there's a problem. So I don't do it. Um, so I have to set those boundaries for myself um, because again, I'm one income, I'm one person and I make it all work. So you have to be very much aware, that's like a tip. If you guys are like big eat outers, buy a gift card for the place that fits your budget that won't set you back and, um, and do it that way. If you cannot afford to pay for something with your debit card, do not put it on your credit card. Like, credit cards are for emergencies, they're not for racking up bills. So, I don't know, like today at Lush, I spent $75.77 and I wanted the points because I get 4% cash back on my credit card purchases. So, I went and used my credit card and I literally, when we left Lush, I looked at the receipt, I opened my banking and I transferred that amount over to my credit card before it even shows up on my statement. So when my credit card statement comes in, I will have a $0 balance. That is how I roll, and that's what I recommend everybody does with credit cards. Like, don't don't rack it up unless you need to. I mean, I've had to put things on my credit card before, like if I needed new car tires that are like 800 bucks, and then I paid off over the course of a couple of pay cycles. Like, you have to you have to manage it. You can't just rack it up, rack it up, rack it up, and then not deal with it. So don't ignore it. Treat your credit card like a debit card, and just stay focused on the end goal. It's not about having eight Kate Spade purses or I don't know having a four thousand dollar couch because it looks cute in an Instagram photo it's about being happy being financially stable and living your life without having to skip a meal and having a full fridge and like those should be priorities not not the having fun or like going going out every single night like the amount of money I always say to my friends if you go out to dinner four times a week and you spend 20 bucks a night that is 80 bucks a week that is a phone bill right there that you're just spending on food that you easily could have cooked at home so that drives me nuts um, I don't understand it I mean I do like Thursday nights I like to take my my international student out to dinner when we go to grocery shopping but it's Perfect, perfectly calculated because I budget out the food for the whole week and then Thursday night supper is the only night we don't actually have a planned meal so we can go out but I mean for the two of us to go out to dinner it's not even 25 bucks because we're both very weird light eaters so there's no reason for us not to do that and treat ourselves but I also don't drink alcohol I mean for every $12 bottle of wine my friends buy I stay home <laughs> and don't drink the wine so Another one of my friends quit drinking and the amount of money she saved in the last year is insane, guys. Like, it's insane how much money she has now and she didn't even realize it until she started not drinking. So, anyway, yeah. Those are my tips. 
Um, I mean, there's other things you could do, like coupon. If you're, if you're like me, I coupon all the time as well. So coupon and save the, the money because you deserve to have whatever you want in your savings account. And set goals for yourself. Don't be afraid to be disciplined. And if people judge you for it, they're not worth having them in, their, in your life. Um, so stay motivated, stay strong, be independent, happy adulting, and <laughs> give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. What do you guys do to like keep it all together? Um, hit subscribe, and I will see you all super, super soon. I love you guys. Bye!